Martin Spalding was born May 23, 1810, on Rolling Fork, Marion County, Kentucky. His parents were Richard and Henrietta Hamilton Spalding. He attended multiple colleges. First was St. Mary's College in Lebanon, then St. Joseph's College in Bardstown, and the Urban College in Rome, where he received his doctorate in divinity in 1834. He was the pastor at St. Joseph's Church in Bardstown and then became the president of St. Joseph's Church. He moved to Lexington to be the pastor of St. Peter's Church. He went back to St. Joseph's Church but was called up to Louisville to be vicar general for Bishop Benedict Flaggett, who was in his later years. He moved up in rank to Episcopal and became coadjutor to Flaggett and then Bishop of Louisville in 1850. While Spalding was in charge of the church at Louisville, the size of the church doubled to 70,000. He helped create multiple schools, churches, priests, and parish societies. In 1857, he was one of the founders of the American College of Louvain. This school provided the diocese with priests. The efforts of Spalding shouldn't be overlooked because he was able to accomplish this growth during a time when Catholics were not welcome in many parts of America including Louisville. In 1855, Bloody Monday occurred in Louisville where violent mobs attacked German and Irish immigrants, whom most were Catholics. After the riots had concluded, Spalding wrote, I entreat all to pause and reflect, to commit no violence, to believe no idle rumors, and to cultivate that peace and love which are characteristics of the religion of Christ. During the Civil War, Spalding asked for prayers for peace. He had sympathy for the Confederacy. He thought of slavery as a great social evil, but said, how can we free ourselves of slavery without ruining our country and causing injury to the poor slaves themselves? He closed St. Joseph's College and used it for a military hospital. In 1864, he left Kentucky to become the Archbishop of Baltimore, and he became the leader of the Roman Catholic Church in the United States. Spalding was also a writer. Some of his works are Sketches of the Early Catholic Missions of Kentucky, Life of Bishop Flaggett, History of the Protestant Reformation, and many more. He visited Rome for the centenary celebration of the martyrdom of St. Peter. He also attended the First Vatican Council in Rome in 1869. He died on February 7, 1872, and is buried in Baltimore. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Martin John Spalding. He was a Kentuckian who helped many people get their lives started in Louisville. His talks of unity after the Bloody Monday riots showed true leadership and should not go overlooked. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod or you can become a member of our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get more Kentucky History content. Find us on these social media platforms. And check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.